Now the form title video and options slash choices in a radio button. So once you've got the radio button element across to the layout, these are your options and choices available. So if you want to amend your existing choices, what you do, you can just say red, that's how you do it. Yeah, well. And you've got something called other. If you have an other in Salesforce, if you don't want it, you can just check it and you just get rid of it. <coughs> if you want to remove it, you just click X. And then if you add something, click add item. Very, very easy. Then you've got a couple of options here. For example, as you can see, I've got red as a default value. If you'd like to clear that, press clear. If you'd like to order, let's just say this is three, <coughs> this is two. If you'd like to order these values in a sequential order, then you just click on the value itself and say order up. If you want to order down, you just click on the value and order down. It's completely up to you. We've got the input option. For example, we've given you example pick lists here. So let's just choose one for a second. And then as you can see, if I save it, these pick lists have now been imported. <coughs> if you go back in here, you can also load your own pick list via a CSV format. So if you have a pick list in a CSV format, click load yours and you can just add it there and you're good to go. So these are the options and choices in the radio button.